Hello everybody, welcome to today's Ocean Wonders video. Today we are going to learn about an amazing animal, the starfish, and cross oak. What is a starfish? They are also known as sea stars and are one of the most recognisable forms of aquatic life in the world. In fact, they are the most common marine creatures to be encountered. But it is not a fish. It is an invertebrate, which means it doesn't have a backbone. And it is part of the echinoderm family. Echinoderm means hedgehog skin. And being part of this family means the marine animals will have hard, spiny covering or skin. Other members of this family include sea cucumbers and urchins. Starfish are almost always star shaped. What do starfish look like? Well, they look like stars. Most starfish sport spiny skin and five arms surrounding a central disc shaped body although some can grow as many as 50 arms. They also have eye spots on the top of their arms, which allow the starfish to sense light and dark and help it find food. Starfish don't have a brain or blood. Instead of blood, they have a seawater vascular system, which is a hydroskeleton. And instead of a brain, they have lots of nerves. How does a starfish move? Their arms are covered with pincer-like organs and suckers that allow the animal to slowly creep along the ocean floor. They also have eye spots on the tips of their arms, which allow the starfish to sense light and dark and help it find food. They are very slow moving creatures. Where do starfish live? They are purely marine animals. There are no freshwater sea stars and only a few live in brackish water. They occupy every type of habitat, including tidal pools, rocky shores, seagrass, kelp beds and coral reefs. Some kinds of starfish are even found on sandy seabeds 9,000 metres deep. What do starfish eat? They may look cute, but they are fierce predators. They are probably the most important predator in the shallow ecosystem, so the depths where we would dive or swim. They eat basically anything they can come across. Starfish favourite foods include mollusks like clams, oysters and snails. The way it eats is pretty impressive. After attaching its body to a chosen prey, the starfish pushes its stomach out through its mouth. Substances called enzymes from the stomach then begin to digest the food. This allows the nutritious grub to pass inside the stomach, which in turn goes back into the body where the digestion is complete. Cool, eh? Tiny organisms that fall victim to the super starfish can be swallowed whole. Can you tell males and females apart? It can be difficult to distinguish male starfish and females based on appearance alone. In some species, like the common sea star, males are noticeably smaller than females. In others, there are virtually no visible traits that set them apart. But there are some physiological differences, but you would need a microscope to see them. Starfish can change their gender depending on living conditions, food availability, etc. It may be more useful to be male or female at a certain time. The female starfish can produce millions of eggs at a time. Most of these are eaten by other animals and only a few ever develop into adult starfish. This is quite common in the marine world, especially for marine invertebrates. Did you know that starfish have a superpower? They have the superpower of regeneration. Starfish are among the most famous and dramatic examples in nature for being able to grow an entire new body from just a single arm. One reason they can do this is because they house their vital organs in the central disc. 
The generation process can take anywhere from months to years, depending on the extent of damage and the availability of resources such as food. There are approximately 1,600 species of starfish. The common starfish is often found in rock pools in Ireland. They can also be found in the ocean to depths of up to 650 metres. After storms, you can sometimes find huge numbers of these starfish washed up on the beach. The common starfish has five arms and it is orange to brown with a pale underside. It also has short pale spines across its body. It has a circular disc in the center of its body where all arms extend from. It has hundreds of tube feet that act like little suction cups to help it walk and transport food to its mouth, which is underneath its body. Smaller common starfish tend to be quite stiff and rigid, but as they grow, they become softer and floppier. The crown of thorn starfish is a red and black coloured starfish with thorn like spines sprouting all over its body for protection. The starfish can grow up to a diameter of 40 centimetres across and have 12 to 19 arms extending from their centre. If accidentally touched or stepped on by humans, the starfish long spines are capable of pricking and stinging, inflicting great pain that can last for hours. Other symptoms include feeling sick and vomiting. The crown of thorn starfish is a coral reef predator, which means it eats and preys on the coral polyps by climbing onto them, extruding their stomach over them and releasing the enzymes to then absorb the tissue from the coral. During times of a food shortage, these creatures can live on their energy reserve for over six months. Population of the crown of thorn starfish have increased since the 1970s, but this species is at least partly responsible for much of loss of the coral reefs, particularly on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. They are predators that can wipe out large areas of coral and an individual one can consume up to 13 miles of it per year. Outbreaks of huge numbers of these starfish are believed to be caused by agricultural runoff, which causes algae blooms. Few animals in the sea are willing to attack the spiny and toxic crown of thorn starfish, but there are some creatures who do prey on them. This is a sun star, which is a type of starfish with 10 to 12 short arms that look like the sun's rays. It has an orangey red disc in the centre and beautiful bands of yellow, orange, pink or white. It really does look like the sun. Here are some other starfish. Can you guess what their names are? Look at the first one. What does it remind you of? Well, this is the chocolate chip starfish. The second one. Look at its centre. Look at the redness in the centre and how it protrudes. Well, that is a volcano starfish. And the last one, mm, it kind of looks like ravioli. This is the ravioli starfish. What animals eat starfish? Predators, animals that eat starfish, include crabs, lobsters, bottom dwelling fish, other sea stars and seagulls. Even sharks and manta rays eat starfish. Threats to starfish include fishing as a food or a souvenir, habitat changes, pollution and change in water temperature. Climate change and rising sea temperatures are increasing the occurrence of sea star wasting disease. This disease causes the limbs to fall off and the body is unable to regenerate. It's unable to use its superpower. In the end, what was once a sea star just becomes a puddle on the ocean floor. Starfish are important creatures. They are keystone species, meaning if they are affected, it is going to have a greater effect on the whole ecosystem because you're removing a key component. 
So how can we help starfish? We can leave them in the sea and we can take action on climate change, which you are doing already. So thank you for all your hard work, learning about and helping the marine environment. I hope you enjoyed learning about starfish today. Thank you for your time. Bye.